for anyone with their consent yet. Done. It happened here on a gray storm-swept beach near Florence, Oregon, a place where the tides and shifting sands hide many secrets, but not all of them. I have a hunch, Mr. Spock, that we are about to face a menace more terrifying than the flying parasites of Ingraham B. In November 1970, a 45-foot-long sperm whale died at sea and washed ashore on that very same beach near Florence. For more than a week, the eight tons of carcass remained there, rotting, while the locals tried to figure out what to do with it. It had to be said, the Oregon State Highway Division not only had a whale of a problem on its hands, it had a stinking whale of a problem. What to do with one 45-foot, eight-ton whale dead on arrival? on the beach near Florence. It had been so long since a whale had washed up in Lane County, nobody could remember how to get rid of one. We have top men working on it right now. Who? Top men. In selecting its battle plan, the highway division decided the carcass couldn't be buried because it might soon be uncovered. It couldn't be cut up and then buried because nobody wanted to cut it up, and it couldn't be burned. So dynamite it was, some 20 cases or a half ton of it. It seemed to be the best idea at the time, at least to Highway Department Engineer George Thornton. As he told Lindman on that fateful day, dynamite had solved plenty of problems in the past, and he had a strategy. We're going to blow shit up. The hope was that the long-dead Pacific gray whale would be almost disintegrated by the blast, and that any small pieces still around after the explosion would be taken care of by seagulls and other scavengers. You're unbearably naive. As everything was being made ready, we asked George Thornton, the highway engineer in charge of the project, for his final observation. Well, I'm confident that it'll work. The only thing is we're not sure just exactly how much uh, explosives it'll take to disintegrate this thing so the scavengers, seagulls and crabs and whatnot can clean it up. You are reckless. Is there any chance it might be more than a one-day job? Uh, if there's any large chunks left, and uh, we may have to do some other cleanup, possibly set another charge. The dynamite was buried primarily on the leeward side of the big mammal, so as most of the remains would be blown toward the sea. As they went about their business, more than a hundred people turned out to watch. Oh yeah, um, there were picnics, uh, there were entire families. This is going to be fun. Let's, let's go see the whale. Why would you do that? About 75 bystanders, most of them residents who had first found the whale to be an object of curiosity before they tired of its smell, were moved back a quarter of a mile away. The sand dunes there were covered with spectators and land lubber newsmen, shortly to become land blubber newsmen, for the blast blasted blubber beyond all believable bounds. Did you get a wand? Our cameras stopped rolling immediately after the blast. The humor of the entire situation suddenly gave way to a run for survival as huge chunks of whale blubber fell everywhere. And this stuff starts hitting the ground. Boom, 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 boom. And all of a sudden you realize, my God, I could be killed by whale blubber here. Pieces of meat passed high over our heads while others were falling at our feet. The dunes were rapidly evacuated as spectators escaped both the falling debris and the overwhelming smell. It's an aroma that still lingers. It was one of the worst smells I've ever encountered. Words cannot describe the smell. It was in my nostrils for a solid week. Oh, that could gag a maggot. I smell like hot, sick ass in a dead carcass. Oh, even stink would say that stinks. A parked car over a quarter of a mile from the blast site was the target of one large chunk. The passenger compartment literally smashed. Well, they finally did it. They killed my fucking car. Within two days, the state of Oregon wrote Walter Umenhofer a check for the full retail value of his car. Fortunately, no human was hit as badly as the car. However, everyone on the scene was covered with small particles of dead whale. We were covered, we were permeated with redness and the smell. Oh, hell no! 
As for the success of the effort, well, the seagulls who were supposed to clean things up were nowhere in sight, either scared away by the explosion or kept away by the smell. <sighs> that didn't really matter. The remaining chunks were of such a size that no respectable seagull would attempt to tackle anyway. As darkness began to set in, the highway crews were back on the beach burying the remains, including a large piece of the carcass which never left the blast site. It might be concluded that should a whale ever wash ashore in Lane County again, those in charge will not only remember what to do, they'll certainly remember what not to do. Finally, you may be wondering whatever happened to the man who underestimated the strength of whale blubber, George Thornton. Is there any chance it might be more than a one-day job? Uh, if there's any large chunks left. He got promoted. For real, are we in the upside down right now? Because that's what it feels like. Done.